What's up everybody, this is Conx Addiction coming at you with another video. I have not done one of these in a long time, just basically been uh, very busy with family and work, life, basically. So, gonna do a video for, um, a video to support a fellow YouTuber. His name is uh, Jeffrey Comic Con, and it's his 200 sub contest. Uh, basic rules, you know the whole... You have to be subbed to this channel, and your top five superheroes, including villains, either one, and your a comic that you hold dear or that it's special to you, which to me that would mean I would never get rid of, or for any reason. And so I'm definitely excited to tell just a little bit of backstory to that book. Uh, first I had gotten all DC and. It's still gonna be very DC heavy, so if you don't like DC, you, well, you you'll probably like the last book. It's not DC, but I'm just gonna do this video. <laughs> All right, so Jeffrey, uh, man, you got an awesome channel, brother. Notice you got a brand new camera. Uh, you've been going live. You did a video with uh, Bueller, and you recently did the. He did a video consisting of his favorite hero that got him into comics and that was uh the hulk and that was pretty awesome man also great deal on the books <laughs> so my first hero or villain would have to be the the joker that laughs i mean man that guy came out of nowhere so so awesome uh his first appearance was i believe teen times number 13 uh, but this cover right here, which was a variant, it is just gorgeous. Look at those teeth just rottening. Gums are bleeding. I mean, man. Like I said, just when you thought the Joker could not be worse, a new Batman Joker comes up and he's worse. <laughs> A lot worse and yeah I mean this is a brand new character and so so awesome uh, my second character that I picked was I just have to follow him up the regular Joker he's always gonna be the classic enemy to Batman he has so many great great enemy great villains but man do I love the Joker he is just such a how do I put this? This guy has no rules, no boundaries, no no nothing. He will push the limit way beyond the line and he does it without thinking. He's, all he cares about is having fun and making sure the Batman's always chasing him. I think that's that's his love, right? His passion for doing crimes is to get Batman's attention. He's like a little child. <laughs> uh, and of course, how could you have a two jokers that I actually have in Batman he's he's the reason I'm into comics he's the reason I I'm into this and it's a beautiful beautiful hobby it's an it's just amazing man just to get to read all this amazing um, stories amazing art it's just always a blast just to whether it's been a tough day at work or everybody's sleeping, kind of like right now, I'll open up a book and just start reading it. Just forget about everything. Go deep into the comic. And that's what it's all about, man. Just having fun. And then Batman, like I said, this guy, he's a regular human. You know, he's really smart, but just a regular human who decided to take matters into his own hands and say, screw this, I'm done. The law will not do anything. I will do something, and to me, that's pretty cool. Um, another character I want to throw in there, number four, is Batman Beyond. This is more of a base, not on the books, but based on on um the animated series. When that first came out, I thought, Ugh, why? Why are they doing this? And man, that first episode was so good when you find out 
how they killed his parents, or his parents, his dad. And he ends up finding Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne's trying to help this troubled child out, or teenager. And he's just, he's another favorite character of mine's. Of course, and uh, I know in comics they killed him off, and then I don't know what exactly happened that he's finally back, so I completely fell off on the comics. So if you guys know how he came back, just let me know down, down below. And of course, for Marvel, my favorite superhero is Marvel, uh, Marvel Comics, <laughs> Spider-Man. How could you not choose Spider-Man for Marvel? I mean, there's plenty of other amazing characters, but as a kid, you know, except watching cartoons, the movies, the, the books, how he's struggling to deal with life, trying to be a superhero, trying to hold down a job, hold down his girlfriend... That's something that you can relate to as a teenager, and well, except for the whole web sling, which would be freaking awesome. But I think so many teenagers related to this the stories that Peter Parker had to deal with that that's one of the main reasons we all fell in love with this character. And when he became rich and um, had this huge company and Kind of, some people kind of fell off. Or like, eh. But now he's back. He's broke. And he's struggling with life. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's that's my favorite uh, superhero from Marvel. There's a lot more. But I had to narrow down, hands down, at Spider-Man. Now, this one I was going to show him as one of my top five. But just because it's a book with a story behind it. This is a book I hold very, very dear to me. It has a couple of tears, very small tears, but I don't care. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 361, the first appearance of Carnage, or full appearance. And such an epic cover. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, yeah, he's trying to kill Spider-Man, but still, it's amazing. It's epic. And... The reason I love this book is because, as I said before, I've said it many times, I didn't have the greatest experience in a comic book store. They treated me like crap. They treated me like an outsider. They basically didn't want my business, and that's fine. So be it. I walked out. I didn't want to step into another comic book store, and I didn't for, man, like three, four months. But that's a whole different story. I went through eBay and was just like, eh, I'm just going to look for a couple, a comic and just buy it, see if I like it or not. Because as, uh, as I was looking through eBay, I just typed in Spider-Man. And, I mean, if you go on eBay, you know that if you just type in Spider-Man, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books will pop up. So many different hundreds of pages to look through. But the main cover that got my attention was this bad boy right here. Who knew it would be a, a very key issue. But, um... I just love the cover, love the story, and it's a book that the only reason I would grade it is, like I said, it's not the greatest condition. It has two little minor tears. It has like this little bend, and this bend is actually new. I don't know what the hell happened, but it could be pressed out. There's no color brace or anything like that. But I just want to frame it just to preserve the book of what it means to me. And it, it's something I hold very dear. I would never get rid of. And once again, I'll leave the link down below for Jeffrey. Awesome guy. Definitely uh, check out his channel. Once again, man, congrats on 200 subs. 200 plus. And uh, yeah, guys. Until next time.